you need to prepare your land, you need labor for that. You need to plant, to put seed on the ground, you need labor for that. You need to thinning, you need to weeding, you need to plant, you need to harvest, even transport your after harvest to your warehouse, your house to the marketplace. The cotton stay a long time in the field. It means more labor, more pests, the effect of climate, climate stay here. It depends on rain, the system that we use in Mozambique. Now we have a cyclones that affect most. We have a Gombe cyclone that destroyed not only the, the productions, but the houses. They need at the same time care about the production, to fix the houses. So if the climate's not good, you lose your crops. But in the end of the day, you have to pay the inputs that you receive from the company. It's a big risk because the company supply inputs and they recover those inputs in the end of the season when, when they are the farmers selling the cotton. They deduct all the inputs. So the price is set, let's say is approved by government, the price of cotton. So they, mean, they approve the minimum price. The income of, let's say common Farmers in, in Mozambique uh, per season, say, when I say seasonal means what is the production season, is about 8,000 met guys. It means if we divide it by 65, that's the rate, $1.65 65 met guys, we end up with about $125 per season. There's no farmer that is only cotton farmer. They produce also food crop. So with the money, they need to uh, put this, put the, the, the pay the school for the kids, to buy clothes for the kids, to buy things that they cannot produce, like, like soap, like salt, like oil. It's not easy.